Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get on my website is how do you save save states and how do you transfer them over to new devices or to new SD cards? Well, there's actually an app that does this for you and it's called SaveSync. And it works on a lot of the old 8-bit and 16-bit systems as well as the old 8-bit handheld systems as well. You can see here I have a list of all of the different systems that work. Basically everything up to PS1 work really, really well, which is great because, you know, honestly, you know, if you're halfway through Final Fantasy, Fantasy 8, the last thing you want to do is have to lose your save state. So let me show you how to actually install this onto your device and then how to run the program itself and all the options available to you. So go to the link that I have down below to my guide and then you go to this GitHub page, find the latest release for the save sync, and then you save this OPK. And you're going to treat this like any other OPK, like an emulator or anything else like that and then FTP into your device. If you don't know how to do that, I have all the instructions in my guide itself. Uh, but once you get into your device itself, all you have to do then is just drag it into your media data apps folder like you would for any other emulator. So it's very, very simple. Just take it, drag it over, and really that's the whole installation process. So super simple. So let me show you what it looks like on your device. It'll be in your applications tab and you'll pull up Save Sync. Now, what this does is it has a variety of options, but the first is to back up. And basically what it does is it duplicates all your save data onto your external card. Restore means it's gonna move it back to your internal card. Sync means it's gonna make sure that the newest files are synced between your internal and external. And snapshots allows you to make multiple sync files. The advanced has different logs and stuff like that. I wouldn't worry about that. For the most part, I'm, I'm just using the backup and restore function. So let me show you how that works. So basically all you do is you go into the backup up settings you just hit start and it's going to begin okay and you can see it here just running through all the different save files that I have throughout my system and it's moving them all over to a new folder on your external card that means if anything happens to your internal card where all the emulators are you're fine you're safe because they're also backed up on the external card as well and then you can move them over as you'd like so once it says it's done, you just hit start to exit. And let's go into Dingux Commander and actually verify that those files are in there. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to navigate back to my external SD card. And you can see here there's a new folder called Backup. And look at all those emulators right there. It even saves your screenshots, which is pretty cool. So you can just go into here to any of them, and you can uh, open up a folder. And you can see here it has my save states as well as my save games. And they're all just saved here perfectly. And so all you would need to do is just run the application again, but do the restore function, and it'll move it back to that correct folder on your internal card. You can see here I have my you know Game Boy games are all saved here as well. You can kind of see all the games I've been playing lately. Um, but yeah, it's kind of perfect, you know, and it and it's funny because it saves the folder hierarchy for that particular emulator. It knows how it works. This isn't a perfect solution. So for example, if you change emulators wholesale or if there's a huge update to an emulator, it may not be compatible with the save file you have. So it's not a foolproof thing, but it's much better than trying to figure it out on your own. Uh, I think it's a perfect solution for role-playing games in particular, you know, those those games where your save file is so critical to finishing the game, you know. I've gotten so many times through 25% of Earthbound on the Super Nintendo, and then I never pick it up again, or, you know, something happens with the save file or whatever, and this just kind of gives me that peace of mind to be able to say, hey, I'm able to back it up, and then I can restore it at any other time on a different RG350 device, or on a different card, or anything else like that. So I think it's just kind of a really neat solution. This is really it for this video, real short and uh, down to the point, but let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'm always looking for new uh, ways to show off some of the potential of this device, so if you have any suggestions, you have any questions, let me know, and I'd love to consider it for a future video. But other than that, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Happy gaming.